Tim Panasic for Gibbons Motor Toys. Today we're going to show you the Kingfisher 1825. This has been one of our most popular boats for several years now. So it, although it has had some uh, changes through the years, I can't remember the exact year when they made the last change to this hull. I want to guess it was around 2016, 17, somewhere in there. And that's when the hull actually grew, got bigger and to what it is today. So we'll start off by showing you the, since it's got the cockpit cover on it, we'll just show you what a good job Kingfisher does with this cockpit cover. It can be used for both storage and for travel. And uh, you'll see that as we get around it, just how tightly it fits. Number one is it covers the windshield. That may not necessarily stop rocks from breaking it, but it certainly is gonna help and it's definitely gonna keep the bugs off of it. The other thing is, is that if you're in a campsite or even if you got the boat stored at home, you can see that everything inside here is out of sight, out of mind. So by having the windshield covered and having everything covered, if you got items in your boat, in lots of cases, this is keeping the, uh, you know, the honest thief away. You can see that it's got a support pole in the center. So if it is outside, it gets snow packed. That's not going to bother it a whole bunch. And as we wrap around to the trans in the boat, there's another key feature here that I want to point out. And that is, is that this cockpit cover is also kicker ready. So whether there's a kicker on here or not, if you do choose to add a kicker one day, no modification is necessary. It's already here for it. So you don't have to take it to the canvas shop to make that alteration. Now that we've removed the cover, we'll uh, show you the rest of the boat. We'll start with the, uh, actually we'll start with the trailer. This has got a standard with this boat is a 2,800 pound easy loader galvanized trailer. So plenty of load capacity for the weight of this boat. You can upgrade to a 3,100 pound with brakes if you're towing it with a lighter vehicle as an example. As far as Kingfisher's hull construction, we've talked this about this lots in the past. We'll just repeat it. Kingfisher uses what's called a preflex hull technology. You can see each one of these brakes in the boat. What that does is it simply adds strength to the boat without adding weight. Uh, we'll sh get to the interior, obviously, when we're finished out here, but just uh, this here is a drain for the drop bow. So the drop bow, if you wear water in that drop bow, the water is going to exit the boat here instead of filling the boat with water. So from a safety standpoint, and from a standpoint of maintaining and keeping your boat uh, neat and clean, that works really well. Kingfisher uh, also doesn't paint their boats right to the bottom. This is a feature that we like. So leaving this one inch of unpainted surface on the sides here, what that does is if you pull up on a beach, you're not gonna have rock chips on your paint. So that's a nice feature. You can see there's a stem extrusion here in the bow for extra protection when you are beaching the boat. We got a full reverse chine hull, as you can see, and that's gonna go right from the bow all the way to the stern. As we make our way through, when you're looking at the bottom of the hull, this does have a 12 degree dead rise, and you can see that it's got two lifting strikes. And what those lifting strikes do is it aids and makes uh, the boat crisper in turns, so a corner is better and it also gets the boat up on step quicker. So between the reverse chine and the lifting strikes, this boat gets up on step and stays there at a very slow speed. As we make our way along the side of the boat, uh, Kingfisher uses uh, a 102 sides on the 1825 and 160 aluminum on the bottom. So very strong. This boat, you're gonna be able to use it on the intercoastal ways. You're going to be able to use it in, uh, you know, really most freshwater conditions. It's going to be a safe boat in rough water. As we come around to the stern, you can see the way the Kingfisher, their style, how, what they do to make the best use of the boat. Uh, the 1825, new for this year, comes standard with a 25 inch uh, transom. So we have an extra long engine a gear case on here. So that's going to give you more freeboard out of the water, making it uh, more safe in uh, rough conditions. This has got the optional swim platform ladder here with the king deck on it that you can see. You can see looking at the transom, we've got the welded uh, uh, plates so you can add transducers without putting holes in the hull. This has got the optional anode for uh, corrosion protection. And while we're standing here, we can maybe talk about the engine. 
So the maximum horsepower in 1825 is a 115, which this is. This has got also a command thrust lower gear case. We use that in most of our applications where it's an option. Simply put, this gear case and propeller diameter is the same as what we're using on a 150 horse. So the larger gear case, the advantages to that is it just gives you more thrust, better boat control, whether that's uh, fishing, trolling, whether it's backing the boat up, loading on the trailer, parking at the dock, you just have better boat control. And the beauty of all this is this, this larger gear case and propeller actually gives you more top end performance than the standard gear case. And that's something that's unique to Mercury in this horsepower range. I don't believe any of the engine manufacturers have this large gear case option in a 115 horse engine. We'll start with the stern of the boat. So in the stern here, Kingfisher's done a nice job in terms of utilizing the space of the splash well so that it's as usable as can be. You can totally stand right up here for fishing, for whatever you're doing up here. It gives you a, a very decent platform on both sides. There is optional uh, jump seats that you can put back there as well. Uh, this boat has an optional ski pole, which is new in the, in, in the recent history. And this ski pole just simply fits right here and I'll show you where that drops into here as we show you what's going on here as well. You can see that there's a bolt here you would just loosen this off drop it in and then this notch is secured with this bolt so that ski pole isn't moving. So there's a very uh, robust ski pole that doesn't take up any room in the boat so very cool idea. This has got an optional washdown pump uh, you can see you got your battery storage there. We got an extra fuel filter for the engine. We've got a bilge pump back there. We've also got the valve for the water intake to the uh, washdown pump, which also has a shutoff valve. That's just part of uh, AYBC standards so that if one of these hoses or something ever failed, you could shut that valve off so you're not going to fill your boat with water. As we look at the gunnels, Kingfisher's got a gunnel that's wide enough to take any downrigger bracket and you can pretty much place them wherever you like. So that's uh, very convenient for various rigging configurations. Uh, with their storage trays here, another thing that Kingfisher's good at is this rounded lip that they put up here. What that does is adds a pile of strength. And if you bump that with your shin or whatever, there's no sharp edges. You can see the wash down hose there. You can see the rod holders on the sides. Same goes with this side. This has got the optional carpet on the side. So typically that's the way we order our boats. The carpet there makes for good rod protection. And if you put anything else in there, there's no vibration, whether you got tools, whatever, the carpet just muffles the noise down and uh, keeps vibrations to a minimum. And then you can see we got the Zoltone paint on the lower part. If this boat gets dirty, you wash it down with your wash down pump and basically along the sides, of the uh, marine vinyl deck that you have here, the water and any of the crap that you get here from fishing or whatever you're doing, just follows that channel down into the billage. As we move forward here, we've got storage underneath the 24 inch side bench seats. And these are all optional. You can configure the boat in different ways. As we move forward in the boat, this has got the optional 18 inch uh, boxes underneath both the passenger and driver seat. What's unique here is this is also true dry storage. I call this storage here semi-dry. I call this dry storage. And the reason being is note the lip on the outside lid here that surrounds this box. So anything that you put in these boxes, both on the driver's and passenger side, that's gonna stay dry. This is gonna be semi-dry. This seat also swivels. You've got a, uh, on the passenger side, you've got a handle here to hang on to. You've got a very large glove box. So pretty much right up to my shoulder to reach to the front of it there. We've got the king deck up here. We've got cup holders here. We've got our switches. Just, again, lots of room on the dash for, to accommodate pretty much any size of sonar that you want. Visibility when driving this boat and ease of you know, reaching the wheel, your controls and everything is very user friendly. These plates all up here as well, both for the driver and passenger with the king deck on them. So whether you got shoes on, bare feet, very comfortable. 
and you're really going to be able to lock yourself in here very nicely on rough water. As we uh, show you the bow here, walk through windshield very easily to access. And this is a new option as well for this year where we've got the king deck in the drop bow and the step through. You've got your anchor storage up there. And we mentioned this earlier, this drop bow is all sealed. So you wear a wave in here, the water is going to run out. We showed you the drain holes on the side of the boat. There's one on each side. So you can fill this with water and that water is just going to run outside the boat, not inside. Another nice feature of the drop bow, which we've talked about in the past, which is worthwhile repeating. You pull up to shore, you got people hopping in your boat. They got dirty you know, shoes, whatever. You can kick all that stuff off here in the bow. Hop into the bowl of your bare feet, all the dirt, all the mess stays out here. All you got to do is throw a pail of water in here, everything cleans up. Another nice feature is when this windshield is closed, you've got no air, no water, you're well protected. So if you want to use a boat early in the season to late in the season when the temperatures are cooler, you don't have any to worry about doing up any canvas or hiding, you know, areas that are going to expose you to the wind and such. This is a very, very warm cockpit. As for the bimini top, when you're underway, this is one position that it will stay locked in. All you got to do is tighten down the screws on the side. It'll stay right where it's at. I should also point out that standard with the boat is the side window. So this is a bimini with side windows. And then there's an optional drop curtain and an optional sloper curtain. The other way that you can store this is you can uh, tuck these poles forward. I've already loosened off the screws there and then you can just slide this back and it'll just store right back here and again it's pretty much out of the way you can pull it back a little further and uh, so it's your choice you can store it back here out of the way or you can have it standing up as for who the Kingfisher 1825 is suited for I think basically anybody that wants to get into a boat that's going to be used for a lot of fishing, family activities, uh, you've seen that, you know, we got the optional ski bar, etc. So it's going to really cater to a lot of needs. The other thing is, is that it's going to be a boat that's fairly easy to store with, uh, you know, an 18 foot boat. You're basically looking at with the engine, with the trailer hitch, you're looking at 24, 25 feet of space. So it's going to fit into most people's garages. It's not overly high, like a hard top or anything. So there's something to consider. The other thing is you don't need a large vehicle to tow this. You're gonna be well under 3000 pounds with boat, motor, trailer, and even some gear in it. So there's another thing to consider. And as far as water capability, salt water, fresh water, I'm not saying that this is the boat that you wanna take offshore. It's still just an 18 foot boat, but the hull is built tough. It's very capable. So it's really gonna cater to all those needs. Who probably shouldn't be buying this boat is the person that is heading offshore, who's looking for the protection of, you know, inclement weather. Um, you know, you've just got more miles to travel. You're going to be further offshore. Obviously, it's still just an 18 foot boat. So there's what your limitation would be. Other than that, this is going to suit a wide variety of needs for a lot of people. Hopefully this video has helped you understand the Kingfisher 1825 Falcon a little bit better. Of course, check our website, Kingfisher's website for the full specs, uh, performance figures, etc. will always be listed there. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and uh, continue to monitor this for more videos like it.